Hey guys, Eclipse 14 here, and welcome back to Let's Play Kirby's Adventure. Alright, 3-6 is up next, which means we are almost to the very top of the tower, and I have this hammer, which is awesome. And let's just finish things off. We got these enemies, take them all, and I'm just gonna play a, a trick play, where I drop, swallow, shoot, get back the hammer. Got it! Alright. <clears throat> next thing, we got- uh-oh! Fortunately, I did not get myself blown up there. Take you down. There's that if you need it. Likewise, blow you up. And there's the door out. Now I have this little area, which I just need to whack you. Time it right. There we go. Sorry, sword. I have a hammer. Which is more important. Alright, I just needed the time that so I didn't screw myself up. Just bombing everything and inside's the center door. Now I have this little area to deal with. Which, uh... Gotcha. Now right up here is actually another door. And inside here, what you have to do is just fly up, destroy that bomb, and move quickly. You can grab that, but inside this door is the second switch, and the only other switch inside the butter building. So now we have both the switches in level 3 handled. Cool stuff. Now we'll go ahead and head up here, and I lost my hammer. For shame. Alright, I'm gonna just drop down. This way I can still get the sword power up. And, uh, that's about that. Just, uh, deal with that. Now we have this dark area to deal with. There's not much going on. Actually, now that I think about it, I think the cutter... Well, let me take it out. I actually feel like the cutter would be better for what is coming up next. Because I know there's only six stages in this area, and the boss is up next. I feel like cutter would be the better option here instead of sword. So, go inside here. There's no secret doors or anything inside that darkness. That's not until a later level, as far as I'm concerned. Kind of trying to break everybody. There we go. And finally, we're at the very top of the butter building. And now I catapult myself finally to my first number one. About time, yikes. And there we go. <clears throat> and with that, we have an egg catcher game to deal with. The Warp Star Station, and finally one of DDD's enemies. Well, friends. Excuse me. Our enemy is one of DDD's friends. Alright, now I got the egg catcher, which, uh, here we go. And I got 18. Oh well, I tried. Inside's the warp star station, and we're at the top of the butter building. Before I do anything, I'm just going to glide all the way down to the bottom. Whee! Yes, I made it! It's always fun to just go all the way down the butter building, especially since you're climbing up the whole freaking time in the level. Alright, my fun's achieved. Let's go deal with Mr. Shine and Mr. Bright. Uh, who's gonna be here first? Uh, looks like you. It's completely random who chooses, but I feel like the cutter would be the better option. Primarily because you can take a distance against these guys. Just kind of whack away at them. And, uh, after a while they will switch out, unless you break one of them, in which case it's a joke. 
Darn it. Yeah, at least Cutter gives a safe distance, and you're weak enough that I can just break you. Both of you are gone, the sun and moon are destroyed, unfortunately, and that sucks. But it's all for a star rod. So, I guess I'll get him back soon. Eh, yeah, whatever. With that, we reach level 4, which is Great Garden. And, uh... Poor Kirby. Lost all his balloons. And with that, we access level 4. And, uh... Since we cleared a level, that assumes the end of an episode, and you would be right on that case, even though we're just under six minutes. With that said, I'm gonna close things here. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.